Hey y'all, welcome to the Wrestle Fan and Report. This is the Wrestle Fan and founder Nick Unjwalia, and today's guest on this show is the legit boss, the standard, the blueprint, the best of all time, at least according to me because she's my favorite wrestler. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sasha Banks. And there is the blueprint, the standard, the goat, Sasha Banks. How are you doing today? Which fun going? The draw. <laughs> we can go on and on and on for that. I'm great. How are you? I'm very well. Very well. Thanks. Are you proud of Yes, I'm in my office and uh, I like okay. your background. Is that a picture of the American dream, Dusty Rhodes? Yes, I have a picture of Dusty and then there's another portrait of myself and Eddie Grove. Um you know, my two uh, idols, my legends, the people who get to this place. Beautiful, beautiful, Sasha, really. But not as beautiful as what happened this past week on Raw, you know, with the walkout with Naomi and all the tension surrounding this, people thinking it's a storyline and everything. Would you like to get some light on this? You know, is it been brewing for months or uh, what, what has it got to do with? Plus, I mean, everything. Um, but I've been really trying to focus on myself and seeing how I can use my time right now for the better of just not myself, but everybody around the world. Um, so it's really been using this time to like really be grounded. And I feel like it's the best I've ever felt. And it's kind of crazy when people are like 2020, the worst, worst year ever. It's almost been my best of like almost restarting over with myself in the world of wrestling, because I feel like it's honestly the greatest I've ever felt in the ring. And I don't know whether it's like the recovery time's better and I don't have to travel anymore. It's a, it's a lot of different factors, but I'm feeling super good. I feel like I'm putting on my best work ever. And, um, you know, I'm just using it for, for the best as it is right now until things get better. Um, I'm just trying to make it as the best as I can be. Well, I really hope that everything works out for the best for you. And, uh, you know, that's why you're my favorite superstar. And I always hope for the best for you. But I just want to switch gears here for a minute and, you know, talk about Becky Lynch right here on Raw. With her being top on Raw and other... Um, let me talk about Becky Lynch. No. Here's an interview with Sasha Banks. So talk about Sasha Banks. Okay. Let's talk about Sasha Banks, the boss, the blueprint versus Becky versus Bailey versus Charlotte. Why haven't we seen that match yet? I mean, it's a dream scenario, right? Is it? That's your dream scenario. Uh, it's not your dream match or anything like that? Apparently not. My dream is to have both the championships like I have. My dream is to make millions like I have. My dream is not to impress you. What do you mean that dream match? We've already had it in 2015. NXT TakeOver. Go to the WWE Network and watch it. We've had that match. It's been done. We've made history right there, 2015. But you want to talk about Beck Lynch last year and the magic that she created. What about all of my magic? I'm magical too. Well, you are magic for sure, that I can say. And let's suppose that this fallout works out and you know you return back to WWE programming. What are the future dream matches that you're eyeing for? Hmm, what a broad question. I mean, I feel like <laughs> me being the champion, you're going to see so many different matchups that you haven't been seen before. So honestly, it could be whoever. Who's going to make me the most money? Who's going to challenge Sasha Banks? Who's going to get to my level? Because I will never go down here ever again. Who's ready for me? Who's ready for me? Name them, put them out there, and let's go. Let's try it. Let's see. I have a long future ahead of me. I'm still one of the youngest. I have a long, long career ahead of me. So I have time. Okay? You're acting like I need to wrestle all these girls right now because you're going to ret <laughs> I've made a lot of magic. A lot of history. I have a lot more to do. So let's not act like I'm going to retire tomorrow or next week. Let's not act like that. It could be whoever. Who's going to make me millions? That's what I want to know. Who's going to make me money? That's what I want. The uh, most. Uh, okay. So who do you think can make you the most money inside the ring? I mean, like, who? who's it? 
I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see. I don't know. Got it. Final question, boss. We all know about your equation with Bailey in and out of the ring. Can you share some light, like in full detail, like the exact details about this great friendship? Not only do I get to live my dream as a WWE superstar, not only do I get to live my dream being a champion, not only get to live a dream being a two belt banks, like I can't believe it. I'm legit the face of the company with my best friend who we've shared this dream with for such a long time. We started watching wrestling at the same time. We've, we've, we've done so much together and we've sat in cars so many times dreaming about moments like this. So it's been so incredible to do this with my best friend, to legit have fun, to legit put on the best matches ever, to legit just do things that I never thought women would be able to do here in the WB. Like it's more than anything you could ever expect. It's more than when I say, if you only knew, legit, if you only knew what we do to put in, in this work, to make things better for everybody. We want the best for the company. We want the best for the future woman. We want the best for everybody, for all the fans, for all the people that are inspiring to be WWE superstars. We want the best for everybody. Because we want the best, we are giving you our best. We are wanting to do the best together. So I'm just having the greatest time with her by my side. Um, we're not sharing a spotlight. We both have our own. Again, thank you. Well, that brings us to the end of the interview. Tasha, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to talk to you. I had so much fun and I... Why? And I believe you loved it. You had a good time. I did. Um, well, hopefully we can chat again in the future soon. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, well, um, I'll talk to my manager about that. What's your thing called again? Okay. Yep. Definitely we'll see you in the future. Um, I hope you have a beautiful day and a great life. <laughs> Thanks for watching and enjoy the ride. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was the legit boss, the standard, the blueprint, Sasha Banks. If you like this video, like, comment, share, and do subscribe to the channel WrestleFanon. And with that said, this is me, Nikonj Vaila, signing off. See you again next time for the WrestleFanon Report with yet another superstar from the wrestling world. Until then, take care, stay home, stay safe, and keep loving wrestling, you all. Bye-bye.